Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Squadron TV. This is your host Brandon, and today I've got a model kit from X Plus, their new version of the Vampirilla uh, with the Jose Gonzalez artwork based on his famous poster that uh, he did many years ago. Uh, I received a sample from X Plus a few weeks ago of this kit and uh, was able to get it put together. I am no nowhere near a good painter so this is not a how to paint video it's not a how to do anything video because I'm sure many of you are quite a bit better at this than me however I did want to show you uh, what you what you're going to get how the kit goes together and uh, for me with my little bit of experience putting uh, figure kits together uh, how I was able to get it put together and what I had to do to achieve the end result that I got and I'm pretty happy with uh, with it uh, for me um, looking forward to seeing what a lot of you are able to do with this kit when it does uh, finally arrive which by the way we are supposed to have them in February uh, they're on the water right Right now headed our way and uh, we're looking forward to getting all the pre-orders shipped out in February if you don't already have one on pre-order you can go over to squadron.com and place a pre-order for those uh, no payment required up front as we always do with any of our pre-orders we will let you know uh, when the kit is close to release and we'll get money from you at that time but anyway uh, for now let me show you a little bit about what you can expect to get in this kit so here you can see the box art that they're going with. This is uh, pretty much exactly like the original poster. You've got a white background box. Uh, very nice. The box should be about the same size as the original Vampirilla that they did if you had that one. Alright, so you see you get several uh, sprues in this kit in plastic. Uh, that tan flesh color look and of course the display base is uh, you know it's one big chunk by itself uh, one of the most interesting things that uh, i thought was very nice about this the way that they molded the clothes separate from the body and i, I immediately thought oh cool no uh, no masking uh, no masking tape or however you usually would mask that off to paint that I thought hey this might turn out really nice so you can see there the uh, body looks kind of weird but that's because it's uh, recessed to accept the clothes after you uh, put those on and here you can see uh, kind of a dry fit of how that's going to go on and here you can see after I've taken all the parts off the parts trees and lay them out so you can get a good look at what all you can expect uh, to be getting into once you start this kit. So like I mentioned before, I'm no master painter, uh, you know, but I have fun. I do the best that I can. Uh, so I've sped these videos up, but you can kind of see as I'm going through the kits, putting them together, uh, the parts go together pretty good, but as you can imagine, no uh, no plastic kit is going to be absolutely perfect so I'm using my putty to go through and try to you know make them as good as I can I'm using a combination of uh, Tamiya's putties and various other things that I've got in my modeling uh, desk so with any figure kit a lot of sanding a lot of prime sand prime sand and going through but uh, for all the plastic kits uh, of figures that I've done I've got to say that this one was pretty easy to eliminate the seam lines uh, compared to other kits that I've done in the past priming the figure and trying to make sure all of my seam work is good uh, I don't know how many coats of uh, uh, priming that I did but it was several like it always seems to be. And everything seemed to go together really well, uh, putting the arms on. The only thing that, uh, and it's not 
anything negative about the kit. It's just something that I didn't plan for on uh, her left arm. Uh, you'll notice that the hand is separate from the arm and uh, the bracelet uh, kind of hides that seam line which is nice but I figured that I would put the hand on at the end and which I did but the problem was I didn't realize how tight of a fit it was going to be and once I was done I slipped the hand in and unfortunately popped the seam uh, where the arm and the shoulder meet uh, so I've got a nice little ugly seam line on my finished product now if I were going back to do it again, it would be very easy to not have that happen, but again, not knowing uh, that how tight of a fit that was going to be, that's just something to uh, keep in mind when you build your kit. Starting my base coats of flesh tone so I can get everything going. And somewhere through here when I was recording, my video camera decided to die and I didn't know until I was finished. So now we're going to jump fast forward to the display base. And after I figured out that my camera was dead, I was done. So uh, here you can see the base in its uh, final result and now we will fast forward to my end results. You can see uh, what you can expect the uh, figure to look like. So I think X Plus did a really good job with this kit. Uh, they, they're improving the way that they're designing their kits. Uh, if you have the original version of the Vampirella, the clothes were molded all in one piece and that was fine. We're used to masking things off like that, but they decided to try something new and different with this. I think it was a good idea. 
they tell me that they've got lots of ideas for new kits, uh, different ways of uh, doing the molds and, and things like that. And uh, I'm excited to see what they've got planned. They have some new releases that we will be announcing uh, very soon. Many of you might already know about them, uh, but we'll have some official pictures from them that we can share soon. And uh, they've also given, given me some hints to some of the future projects later in the year. And I'm very excited about those. I think you will be too when the time comes. But for now, make sure you get one of these on order at www.squadron.com. And until next time, have a good one.